If we're going to talk about ice ages, we need to talk about why we have them to begin with. This chart right here shows us our temperature data going back 800,000 years or so, and this is mainly coming from the Greenland and Antarctic ice core data. Uh, and every 100,000 years or so, we come in and out of ice ages. That's not on accident. It's because of the Milankovitch cycles. If we're going to have any discussion about climate change or, or ice ages or anything like that, we need to understand the Earth's relationship with the sun. Uh, and that's what the Milankovitch cycles covers. You know, there are three main parts of the Milankovitch cycle. And the first one we'll talk about is eccentricity. Eccentricity is the shape of the Earth as it, as it moves around the sun annually. Uh, it's not a perfect circle. Sometimes it's more of an elongated ellipse. And um, if we're obviously if we're closer to the sun, uh, even though this is an exaggerated diagram, if we're closer to the sun, even by a little bit, it's going to be a little bit warmer. Uh, if we are farther away from the sun, it'll be a little bit cooler. Um, but that does matter, right? It does matter if we're closer or farther away from the sun. And that does happen every 100,000 years or so. And this is like right, right there is the main reason why we have 100,000 year cycles of the earth going in and out of ice ages. We'll talk more about that later on because it hasn't always been that way. The second cycle that happens every 41,000 years is obliquity, and this is the tilt of the Earth's axis. Right now, it's at 23.5 degrees, but it could be anywhere between 24.5 to 22.5, uh, and this is the main reason why we have seasons here in the Northern Hemisphere. We have four well-defined seasons. Uh, you know, We have spring, summer, fall, and winter, and uh, if we were tilted more towards the sun, then we would have more extreme seasons. And the third cycle is precession. This happens every 26,000 years. Is basically the wobble of the Earth. Uh, you know, where's the North Pole pointed? Uh, and it does fluctuate every 26,000 years. Um, there's a lot of neat background about that. Uh, we have been mapping it. We have been tracking it for a really long time. Uh, and you can research the great year and research astrology and, and the zodiac symbols and things like that. And that's because it changes as the Earth wobbles in, in space and time. Now, because we have different lengths of time between these three different cycles, we do, we do have times where, you know, the Earth is farther away from the sun while the tilt of the Earth's axis is at its maximum and while the, the angle of the uh, tilt is, is during our winter months in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, and because the Northern Hemisphere is where we find most of our continental mass, uh, we have a, an accumulation of ice on top of those land masses, and that's what brings us into these ice ages. Um, albedos plays a part of this, but, but yes, that's where the ice ages come from right there. That's real climate change.